Hello students, once again a very warm welcome to Mizo study session. So I was talking about a seed in previous session. So please have a look. Seed. So seed is that structure which is developed from the ovules. Now these seeds, when we talk about the seeds, they play a very important role in agriculture. Right, why they are important in agriculture? Because they show two processes. One is termed as a dehydration, one is termed as a dehydration and second is termed as a dormancy. Right? The removal of water from them, but still they are in viable condition once they will get all these favorable condition, that's a, that is actually a dormancy stage. So because of these, the seed can remain viable for a very long time. So every seed, they have one viable period. Viable period. So viable period, they vary from one species to another species. So this is that period in which the seeds, they remain viable. They can easily grow into a new plant. They actually varies from month to years, right, they varies. Now in this case we have a very good example that is of a lupin, that is lupinus the excavitus. Lupinus excavitus is a seed which is uh, extracted by the excavation activity and it has a viable period of around 10,000 years, right? And this is obtained from Arctic tundra, obtained from Arctic tundra. This is one example. Likewise, we have one more example. That is in case of one date palm, date palm, date palm seeds they can easily survive for around 2000 years, right, uh, the name is the Phoenix dectylifera. Phoenix Dectylifera, right? So these are the certain important condition for seeds, right? So hope this is clear to you. So with this we have completed your seeds. Now let's talk about the next topic, which is fruits. So fruits we all know that they are developed from ovary. Developed from ovary. Right. So, depending upon the see uh, when uh, when actually this fruits development occur. So, once there is a seed development is completed, after that there is a formation of fruit. Now, what actually provides a signal for the formation of fruit? There are various signals for that. One, the first process that is a pollination induces. So, the first step is pollination induces this fruit formation right now the second step is this is just a pollination i am saying the seed development is another signal for the development of fruit now the third signal comes from the availability of nutrients. If there will be nutrients present, that means now our seed will be having fruits. Seeds will be enclosed in fruits. Is it clear to you? No. On an average, the fruits, they are of different type. The first is termed as a true fruit. True fruit. 
so true fruit means these are those fruits which are developed from ovary so they are actually developed from ovary in this you can take an example of a mango right second type we have is false fruit false fruit so false fruits are those fruits which are not developed from ovary instead they are developed from other parts like thalamus in this the example we have is apple cashew nut and also you can take an example of a strawberry these are false fruit likewise we have a third category of fruit also which are parthenon carpic fruit now what do you mean by parthenon carpic fruits these are those fruits which are not developed or these are those fruits which are developed because of action of hormones so hormones actually the help in the development of such type of fruits in this case we have a very good example like banana like banana right so these are the fruits is it clear to you now in your ncert one very small topic which is mentioned that is a apo mixes let's talk about the last topic come to the side students apo mixes and poly embroidery so what is a apo mixes apo mixes is asexual reproduction asexual reproduction and which mimics sexual reproduction which mimics the sexual reproduction see in this case what actually this apo mixes is in this case there is also formation of embryo embryo formation is there and this embryo is also diploid if it is diploid that means it is formed from the two different type of cells but actually it is not the case for example in case of a certain you can take an example of a embryo sac for example i have one embryo sac and this embryo sac is developed by mitosis if it is developed by mitosis this clearly gives us an idea that there will also be 2n and from that 2n condition if there will be formation of an embryo then such type of condition will be termed as a apo mixes now tell me one thing will they require the process of fusion no they will not require now they can easily develop also you can take an example of mango or you can take an example of oranges in case of mango and oranges what happens is there are certain cells like nucellus cells nucellus cells now these cells they protrude into embryo sac and they will form the embryo they will form the embryo not only the nucellus cells sometimes the integumentary cells they also protrude into the embryo sac and it forms the embryo so in this case the such type of condition in which the nucellus cells also contributing the integumentary cells are also contributing there is a formation of a zygote also it will lead to the process of poly embryony that means many embryos they are present in a structure like in the structure large number of these embryos they will be present right is it clear to you 
one seed and very many number of embryo. You can take an example of one like orange, try to, uh, we have orange and uh, that seeds are present. So when you try to squeeze those seeds, you will see the uh, embryos, they will be present and that embryo, they will be of different sizes. So that is actually a polyembryonic conditions are and this is how the uh, apomexis is. So apomexis and polyembryony. One more thing, nowadays we all are moving towards our hybrid varieties. Because hybrid varieties, they are more, you can say, uh, disease resistant. The overall productivity is very high in this case. And uh, hybrid variety is sometimes it become very much costly for us. Because when we talk about the second generation, suppose I have uh, those seeds for it. I have hybrid seeds available with, with me and I'm growing in an agricultural crop. And in that agricultural crop, uh, definitely there will be production of further seeds. So those seeds which will be developed in the second generation, they will be going through the process of segregation. If they will be going through the process of segregation, that means all those desired alleles which I want in a particular generation, they will not be present together. If they will not be present together, will those seeds will be good for us as compared to the viable seed, as compared to those hybrid seeds which we have bought the last year? No, they will not be equally comparable to them. So every time the farmer has to buy new seeds, the new hybrid seed, which is very costly for them. So that is the reason these hybrid seeds or this whole, uh, you can say the agriculture in terms of hybrid, it becomes very much costly for us. Nowadays, the scientists, they are actually working, the, uh, these agriculturists, they are working in this direction so that these hybrid seeds, they can easily be produced in the uh, uh, agriculture land. So this is all about the today's chapter. Your, your whole chapter of a sexual reproduction in flowering plant is completed from my side. We'll be discussing some questions from this chapter and if you have any doubt regarding it. See, I have not at all gone into the depth. The reason is, it is just your CBSC examination. You should have an overall concept knowledge. No need to run here and there that you'll be looking for some books, or some detail group, no need to go for that. Just that the focus on your CBSE, focus on your NCRT, whatever topics which is uh, uh, given there. Just focus on them, whatever you know about the topic. Uh, just go into depth. It's not that you will be taking some other topics. Don't do that. Just whatever there in your NCRT, focus on it. Right? So all the best for your examination. Take care. We'll be meeting in the next one, discussing CBSE pattern question exercise from this chapter. Then you will realize how many easy questions will be asked from this chapter. Till then, take care. Thank you so much, students, for watching this.